All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. Now, I've covered Dungeon Keeper 2 previously on this channel, but only a small segment in relation to my RTS compilation video or my top RTS games, Volume 1. My actual set is complete. I have the two original PC games. The ones I picked up are quality condition, considering the price. And I'm also dedicating this particular episode to Gen Pixel, as I know he loves the original game. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go through the installation process for Dungeon Keeper Gold using Keeper FX, which is a source port for Dungeon Keeper, and it makes it run great on new systems. I'm going to go through that in detail, and then we're going to discuss the actual game. Let's do this. So first of all, you need a copy of Dungeon Keeper Gold. You can get that on GOG.com or through their app, GOG Galaxy. And when you have it installed, you can go to this little icon here. You can go to Manage Installation and then Show Folder. And it will show your installation directory. So we minimize that for now and just keep that open. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to KeeperFX.net. So go ahead and download the latest stable build. And what you want to do next is when you have that downloaded, go ahead and open it. So you're going to open it with WinRare or WinZip, that's a rare file, and extract everything to a single directory. Now, don't extract it where you've installed the game. I'll explain later. So for this case, maybe we've just put it on the desktop. And I'm going to call this Keeper FX uh, Win or something. I'm just going to call it like that. We'll extract that folder. It'll take a short while to do so. So when you've done that, go to the desktop and go to the location where you've installed. And you can see I have it installed here. Now, this is very important. Right click and go to properties. And on Windows 10, the attributes by default could possibly state read only. So I had a problem actually where I was trying to install Keeper FX and it wouldn't do so. So I needed to uncheck read only and apply and then apply changes to all subfolders. Okay. And let the attributes update. So once you've done that, you're going to also want to do the same thing on the actual Dungeon Keeper folder itself where the game was installed uh, from GOG. So right click properties and again, uh, updating all the attributes, hit OK. And then you can go into the folder that you've created with Keeper FX Win and you're going to open launcher.exe. I normally right click and run as administrator just to ensure that all permissions are given to the executable. Go to installation, go to where you've installed the game and this one here, select folder. Files and selected folder have been checked and are correct. When copied into Keeper FX folder, they will allow you to play the game. Do you want to copy the files? Click yes. And the installation should say installation complete, ready to start. You can go to run options here if you want to ch uh, change any of these flags. You can turn off the skip intro animation if you really wish. And some actual settings here for resolution. So I set mine to 2560 1440 based on my resolution of my monitor. Um, and this case, and then I'm going to hit save. Um, I also turned down the mouse sen sensitivity 75. Found by default it's a little bit too high. So hit save. Go yes, save that. And you can start game. All right, so maybe let's just take a look at the game itself. For those who've not played Dungeon Keeper before, this was probably one of the very first games. Didn't make me feel guilty for being bad in a game. Maybe a weird concept, but honestly, when it came out, there was nothing like it. You've got to remember Command & Conquer was peaking here. It came out in 95 and there was a ton of RTS games out at this time. These were the RTS standards, pretty much. So there really wasn't anything like this at all. It was such a unique strategy game. I think the biggest difference was the fact is you don't directly control your army, which wasn't really a concept in an RTS at the time. They're nearly your pets in essence, that you have to feed them, you have to mine them. They can get cranky, they don't get paid, they don't get fed, they get pissed off. It was just such a cool concept. I also loved the concept of controlling units in first person as well. So you can possess your creatures and you can take pretty much them over in first person. You can get them to roam your dungeon, you can get them to attack, and you can utilize their specialized abilities depending on the creature you control. Again, another real original concept within the RTS genre in general. And you know what, I didn't even know if you call it an RTS. It nearly sits out on a little branch on the RTS tree due to the originality on show here. So maybe as well to briefly speak on the Keeper FX source port directly here. So yeah, introducing up to 4K resolution. So I have a 2K monitor, I'm using 2K resolution here. It introduces a couple of viewpoints. You can actually zoom in and out, which you can't do in the original Dungeon Keeper. 
and there's actually three view angles in it which have been added. The increase in resolution definitely helps the feel of the game to look well without taking away that pixelated style or retro style that you will remember. So it does still feel retro, but at the same time, it's much easier to control your dungeon and especially the fact is how far you can zoom out. So I actually found it enhances the gameplay because it lets you manage your entire dungeon from further out and it actually makes a huge difference to, I suppose, response times when you're moving from dungeon to dungeon or you quickly need to pick pick up your creatures to drop them into attack or pick up your minions and drop them into an area so they can get working quicker. Again, it increases the pace of the game and it benefits that. And, and actually, some of the latter levels in Dungeon Keeper, the original, are balls hard. So this actually makes it, I wouldn't say easier, but more so quality of life improvements to actually make you better at the game. So guys, that's my take on Dungeon Keeper, the original. And as I said, installation of Keeper FX to play it on modern systems. If you're a fan of Dungeon Keeper, comment down in the chat. Let me know what you think. If you're new to the channel, please consider supporting my work by subscribing. I'll talk to you in the next video. Thanks for watching.